Hi guys, so I'm in the car about to head off to London. So I've got a hospital appointment today to check up with my specialist. Um, so all he's gonna do is he's gonna review the treatment that I'm on currently and he's gonna see what we can do to try and help me more in the future. So I'm about to leave. Um, my boyfriend is just in Costa getting me a drink right now um, and then I'm gonna leave in a minute. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the day. Here I'm doing a temperature test, so that's when they put my arm on this machine. One side of it's really hot, one side of it's really cold, and they monitor whether I have an allergic reaction based on the different temperatures. Now obviously if I start to sweat, this test does obviously become useless because I'm going to have an allergic reaction if I sweat anyway, but it's just about monitoring if the heat alone causes any reaction. It didn't, by the way. So after we finished the temperature test, I was then sent off to go and do a blood test. I hate blood tests, so I didn't film this for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. This is just a picture of the hospital that I go to. So the reason that they check my blood is just because there are various forms of different blood diseases and problems that you can have with your blood that can cause similar symptoms to what I have. So they just like to keep on top of it and make sure that they're always checking my blood just to make sure that they pick up any changes or anything that they could have missed previously. Hi guys, so um, just got back from the hospital, didn't actually have the best day, didn't really get the best news or the news that I wanted but basically they just pretty much said that they just need to run more tests on me, they just don't really understand why this has got so bad for me and why all of my symptoms have just got so much worse out of nowhere. So. Um, I'm going to have a biopsy where they said that they're going to like take a sample of my skin. Um, they said it's not major, like it will just leave like a really small scar. Um, and they're going to take a sample of the skin. They're going to test the skin to see if they can find anything else alongside the allergy to water that might be like aggravating it or making it worse. And then obviously they can, like that could potentially open up new doors for like treatment that could be considered for me um but they've pretty much said that they're running out of options really like because it just doesn't i'm just not responding to any treatment that i'm given and it just doesn't really make a great deal of sense to the doctors so yeah not a great day but i think i'm all right i'm trying to stay positive about it but it's just a bit to know it's just really difficult trying to stay positive about something that is just so so negative it's just such a terrible situation and it's just so unfair knowing that a few years ago my life wasn't like this i just wanted to give you guys an update um so yeah that was my day in london I'll keep you guys updated once I actually have the biopsy. I'll try and vlog that for you so that you guys can see. But thank you for everyone who wished me luck on Snapchat. Thanks for watching my update video, guys. Um, I will hopefully do more vlogs as more appointments do come because uh, I do like keeping you guys updated and showing you guys um, all of the steps that I do have to take in trying to get better and trying to recover from this um thank you guys for watching please give it a like if you'd like to see more vlogs please check out some of my other videos if you do want more information about my allergy to water i'll leave a link in the description below for you thanks for watching guys see you soon bye